several riders on that right hand side wearing the Ineos Grenadiers jerseys Thirteen seconds. That little uphill has been really difficult for them. Youngles with the four points and the three seconds at the intermediate sprint. A reminder, though, he's well down on the GC, Bob Youngles. Nobody in this group dangerous. Started at over ten minutes today. Another motorbike speeds past. Smells a heartbreak, this. and downhill once more into town and Sagunto awaits four kilometers to go a couple of nasty corners where everybody will want to be safe and at the front Tres before we get to Sagunto. They're through, they're around the chicanes. There's Max Soler here. 174 there for El Scaltel is Mikel Vizcarra. And this is Gregard. They're going to make it into the final 3Ks, but will they make it to the finish, Brian Smith? I don't think they will. It kind of opens out into the big roads. OK, through the technical nature there, they, they kind of held on a little bit. I just can't help thinking one more rider and it, it could have been a breakaway success, but unfortunately you can't turn the, the clock back. But on these big kind of wide roads and the running towards the finish, it's going to be very difficult for these three riders to stay away. Bahrain have committed and ridden. Is it going to be Fred Wright's moment? On Spanish soil last year, he came so, so close, so many times. Tomorrow, in Hergeheide, the Dutch school of... ...Cortina has already been dropped. Aramburu as well, well he'd like the bonus seconds too from, as well as winning the stage because he's right up there in the GC he could conceivably be the new leader at the end of the day number 10, 6 and 4 bonus seconds for first, second and third yeah, that's why Trek Segafredo, they're, they're not happy. They want the bonuses to, to go away. They don't want anybody taking those bonuses. As you said, a couple of fast finishers up there yesterday uh, can take some of these bonuses and use it to their advantage. They're kind of moving up and starting to get in the way uh, at the front of the peloton as well. Just eight measly seconds now, but we're less than two kilometres from the finish line. It's going to go right down to the wire on stage three at the Tour of Valencia. This is Antonio Pedrero at the back for Movistar, who's given everything at the front to try and help bring this back. Six, seven seconds now, and Youngles just does what he has to do. He just continues to commit, continues to ride. He has Gregard here to roll through and do another big turn. Velasco will do the same as well. Everybody committed to give themselves that little bit of a chance if there's any hesitation behind. Just over a kilometre to go now, and they're still out in front. And here is the last kilometre. 1,000 metres to the finish line. It's a straight line and it's a handful of seconds. They can't start to think about the win, though, here, Brian Smith, yet. No, they can't at all. And, um, you know, the master across the front of the road now, they're thinking about the sprint finish, but they have to catch these three riders and this is going to come down to the wire. It's Bob Youngles in the green, Jonas Gregor there in the yellow and red. Behind it, Velasco in the turquoise jersey. They're into the final half a kilometre here. Last roundabout that they take on the left and then go straight to the finish line from now. It's just a handful of seconds behind, with Bahrain still committed, with Movistar in there as well. And Gregor, who's looking for what would be his first professional victory, is still riding away. It's a team time trial straight to the line here, and they've still got a decent gap here. They've still got a very decent gap as they come through. 
through that final roundabout now and head in towards the finish straight. This is a great opportunity for the breakaway, who looked like they were going to have their hearts broken, but now are going to have a chance to sprint for the victory. They've messed it up behind, it seems. And look at that. Velasco hits the front. Velasco goes. And Jungels is trying to come around, but it's Simone Velasco from the breakaway, who hold on by just 100 metres. They committed behind. They tried their best, but it was not to be. Day three to the breakaway, and dreams do come true if you hold on and commit enough. That did not look likely for a long time, Brian Smith, but why do they deserve it? I'm glad I was wrong. I thought they would get caught, and I thought it would be a sprint, and I'm so glad that I was wrong there, because that was a great entertaining final there, and none of them looked at each other there was no hesitation everybody just gave everything they could and the, the strongest man with anything left in the legs just just one Velasco was just that little bit quicker than the others but you can see the sheer disappointment of Movistar just behind but even now there was no hesitation they were just given absolutely everything but you felt here that Velasco probably the quickest of the three anyway you know was just waiting to pounce and he did <clears throat> and the others just had no answer whatsoever However, but I think it came down to just guys we just have to make sure that um, you know we stay away from the peloton I thought they would have needed um, Lawson Craddock to be there but no they played it brilliantly stayed away and unfortunately Movistar are left shaking their head Simone Velasco recibiendo el saludo también del director general And Simone Velasco first time on the top of the podium in 18 long months Good solid rider from the center of Italy Velasco And time for the champagne moment pero hoy tiene que brindar también Simone Velasco con todo el público que nos acompaña aquí en Sagún que nos acompaña aquí la línea meta Esperemos eh, que hayáis pasado ese final emocionante de la carrera. Eh. Piel de gallina viendo la persecución que se ha organizado en el día de hoy. Lo bueno que uno se apuntaba. It was close, wasn't it? Just three seconds in it. You could see that. And it was Adam Budu who finished fourth. And Brian, I guess that's going to add to the frustration for Movistar. Yeah, you could see Rojas just banging the bars after the finishing line. And that would appear to me one time, the 10 seconds there, equal in time with uh, the leader I think got to save the points depending on where he finished there in that stage uh, it would have been closer to the leader's jersey uh, on count back but yeah bit too, bit too close for comfort that one So Velasco winning ahead of Jungles and Gregard Aramburu Rojas, who you mentioned, then Fred Wright, Kuhn Bauman, Rui Costa, Bilbao and McNulty all in the top 10 but after 145 kilometers between Betera and Sagunto. And here's the GC leader. This is Giulio Ciccone. One day down, two more days to defend. Of course, in terms of realistically winning the jersey, barring any sort of problem or accident on Sunday. It's all about tomorrow, Brian, for him. Yes, I think he was hoping that would be the case, but it was a very nervy day for him tomorrow. Uh, today, he got through that. I think he's quite looked at uh, by the sound of things and the question from Laura there. Um, I think he'll have a, a lot of study of the, uh, the road book tonight. Listen, tell, tell us, we knew this morning there was a chance, but I was not sure. You, you took the chance. Yeah, I assume that I think the breakaway stayed away now to the finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We barely made it. Yeah. Barely made it. <laughs> yeah, no, today was definitely, uh, yeah, we thought it was the best chance for the breakaway. And uh, fortunately, I had, uh, had a good team in the beginning to help put me in there. And then... Uh, yeah, I uh, I was used to racing last year with the Volta with really good legs to, to be able to go from far, but uh, seemed to be lacking them this early in the season and uh, took my chance on the climb. In the end, I wasn't wasn't planning to go solo. I just wanted to try and drop uh, one or two of the guys and uh, have kind of a even smaller group at the finish. Uh, I knew my, my sprint was never going to be that good. But in the end, uh, it didn't quite matter for me. My legs uh, 
they cramped up quite bad, and uh, there's not even a chance to hold on on the on the flat road. So, yeah, uh, tough day for early in the season. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy the the breakaway stayed away though. Okay, Thank you, man. That's nice sentiment for his colleagues in the breakaway today from That's Lawson Craddock, even though he was not involved in the final shakeup. Julio Ciccone leads by three seconds ahead of the final stage. Peyo Bilbao in second. Alexander Vlasov, defending champion in third. It's all set up for a final big mountain stage on day four.